Hello everyone, in this video we'll study extra practice 4 from elementary face-to-face uh, -face second edition, okay? Then let's go to uh, question number 1 Okay, so in uh, question number 1 here, we say match the, uh, the verbs to the words or phrases we say go running okay let's put the answer here go swimming listen to music take photos go clubbing play tennis read books or magazines listen to the radio go cycling play video games go to the gym watch sport on TV Okay, you can write the answer. Then let's move to question number two. In question number two, add S, E, S, or nothing to the verbs in these sentences. Um, my son watch uh, here E, S, TV a lot. Okay. Um, Let's just quickly review uh, how do we add these words, uh, these uh, letters, okay? For example, let's see here. We know that when we have, uh, let me just write it here. When I have uh, the subject I, you, they, and we then we have he she and it okay so here any verb any verb comes after this subject we use what infinitive infinitive uh, it means that we don't add anything, no S, no ES, no IES, no, nothing, okay? So if we say here, for example, um, S or ES or IES, okay? We'll come here and write here X, 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 okay? We don't use these uh, letters, we don't add these uh, letters to the infinitive after I, you, they, and we. <clears throat> he, she, it, what we use here, we'll use the same infinitive, infinitive plus S or ES or IES, okay? After these subjects. Okay, so let's look here again. Let's see, we say, my son watches. My son will be what? He. So after he, we'll use S, E, S, I, E, S. Of course, here, what? why we use E, S? Because C, H. After C, H, uh, after the, the word, the verb. If the verb ends with C, H, you know, C, H, um, S, H, S, X, Z, we add E, S. Barry, take. So Barry, take. What do we add? Barry is he. So we will add what? S, takes. So Barry, to be here, we'll add S. Okay. And here, uh, Paula, she, we'll add what here? Here we add ES. There is no grammar for uh, after O, but this is irregular, okay? Go always goes. We add ES. And Ian and Liz work at whom? So Ian and Liz, two people. So it's they. Do we add anything here? No, we don't add anything. So my sister, my sister, she. So, we'll add what's here? Live, we add S. Mm -hmm. 
we write as our class finish our class is it singular or plural be careful because people say our when they when they say our they think it's plural but how many classes here it's only one class the same when i talk for example um our house our flat it's just one so our class finish we add what es why we add es because here it's it our class it there's number one esy because ends with sh luke's parents like luke's parents how many people we are talking about two people here parents okay luke's parents like so we write s uh, sorry we don't write anything we say luke parents like okay because two people they we don't write anything here uh rob watch rob he so we add what es because ch ends with ch we go we nothing she uh she what we add here we should add something we add es again do and go there is no grammar we just add es with go es with do it will be does okay now um this is here this is the second uh, part to be make the sentences negative how do we make the sentences negative okay be careful here we say i you they we we add infinitive plus no s no es no ies he she et we add infinitive s e s i e s okay if i want to write negative okay so what um we will do let's just erase it Mm. So here we write after I, you, they, we, we use don't. Okay. Plus what? Infinitive. We don't add anything after that. And here we'll use doesn't plus again infinitive we don't write s or es or ies with negative okay so my son watch watches tv my son doesn't after doesn't we don't add anything we use the infinitive and let's see the answers here okay so let's clean it all <laughs> okay so here barry take barry takes would it be what barry doesn't take paula go goes doesn't go ian and liz work here we have two people we'll use don't okay and this is the same for all Okay, now let's go to uh, the next exercise, exercise number three. Look at the pictures, fill in the gaps with the correct form of these words, phrases. Love, hate, really like, don't like, is okay, are okay, quite like, and like. Okay, so you look at here the picture. Um, if the picture is sad, the picture is happy. You write about it, okay? And here's the answer. We say number, uh, he loves cats. We really like cooking. She likes dogs, likes. And I quite like jazz. I think tennis is okay. They don't like football. He hates shopping for clothes. Okay, and 
question number four. Make questions with these words. So here we have what do or does he, what do does he. Okay, so first of all, let's just review how do we write the questions. Okay, we have order and the order here. We have question word. Okay. Auxiliary. Subject. Infinitive. This is the order if you want to write a question. Okay. Let's write it here. <clears throat> the same. What? For example, here we say what? Okay. What's the auxiliary? Okay, look f first, look here. First of all, what's the subject here? The subject is he. So with he, we use do or does? Of course, we use does. So we say what does he? And the infinitive is do. Do here is the verb, the infinitive. What does he do? Okay, let's do number two. Number two, we say work, does, where he again the question word where the auxiliary does and he then the infinitive would be work okay number three like rock music he does okay where is the question word uh, we don't have question word here. So what we're gonna do? We just skip and start from uh, auxiliary. So we say does he? Okay, what's the verb here? Like after that rock music. Okay. Okay, guys, so you do the same for the others. And let's check the answer here. Okay. <clears throat> so, does he like rock music? What does she do on Friday nights? What food does she like? Does she watch sport on TV? The same order. The second part, fill in the gaps with the correct form of the verbs in brackets and complete the short answers, then match answers A to F to questions one to six. Okay, so here we say he teaches, we add ES, teaches, she, uh huh. She go goes. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, goes. B goes. C she after she we write likes as you can see here. Then he works. Yes, she does. She loves. No, he doesn't. He mm -hmm, likes. Okay. And here we matches, for example, uh, number uh, A, he teaches English. So this is question number one. What does he do? What does he do? We go back here. We say he teaches English. Okay. And she goes clubbing here. This is question number five, for example. No, uh, no, number four, uh, sorry, B goes. It's four. We say, what does she do on Friday night? She goes clubbing. So these are the answers for these questions. Okay, and it's uh, matched here. 
Okay, and uh, next one, number five. It's a bit long. Okay, so PT is a, uh, in a restaurant filling the gaps with these phrases. Okay, so this is a conversation in a restaurant. You read and you take the answer from here. Okay, would you like to order now? Yes, I'd like the burger and chips, please. What would you like to drink? Okay, and the same. You just fill in the gaps. Number six, find 15 words for food and drink. Mm -hmm. This is the answer here. We have cheese, toast, fruit, eggs, bread, tea, apple, rice, meat, milk, jam, banana, sausages, fish, tomatoes. Of course, uh, some people will say tomato, some people will say tomato. Tomato is British, tomato is American, both correct, no problem. Then here, which words are countable? Write C, which are uncountable, write U. Okay, and here's the answer here. Toast. Of course, it's um, maybe in some languages, toast is countable, but here is uncountable. They say a piece of toast, okay? Fruit is uncountable, but vegetable, countable. But this is the language. This is how English people <clears throat> say it. Okay, the last exercise here, seven. Fill in the gaps with a, uh, an, or nothing. So, do you have, let's uh, make it bigger here. Okay, so do you have sugar? Sugar is uncountable. With uncountable, we don't use anything. Can I have, uh huh, yes. Croissant is countable here. So I will write a croissant. Okay, and this is the answer. I don't like olives. Olives, plural, nothing. We don't use a or an with plural. Would you like biscuit, a biscuit? I love soup. Soup is uncountable. So we don't use anything here. Uh, six, I always have egg sandwich for lunch so here an egg sandwich okay so um, that's it for this video this extra practice for okay guys thank you and goodbye